Hello folks and welcome. Everyone may not really be ready, but you may be itching to check out that sexy environment. But you still may also want the legacy, so you can still do events or just have some damn stability. Well, I'm here to tell you they can actually indeed have both, and I'm going to show you how. And the good thing is this is relatively easy to do. So the first thing you do is to you need to make sure you have the legacy version installed. Which sucks if you have Evrima installed, but this is how it needs to be done. And since Evrima will be constantly be worked on and patched and the legacy version will not, this starts to make sense. So to do that, right click on the aisle in your Steam library, then go to Properties. Then from there, go to the Betas tab on the top, which is on the far right. From the drop down menu, you would select None and opt out of all beta programs. Once you do this, the legacy version will start downloading. So after you have the legacy version downloaded, navigate to its folder within Steam, which uh, yours may be under program files and mine is under games because I'm just weird. So from your Steam folder, yeah, the main Steam folder, go to Steam Apps, then Common, and this is where you start seeing all, the, all your games in Steam. Uh, find the aisle folder, then right click and rename it. There we go. And rename it to something like uh, the Isle Legacy, which I've done here. Once you do this, Steam should start downloading Evrima. If it doesn't, uh, go back over to your Steam library, right click, go to Properties, Betas, and then select Evrima Public Branch. And if it still doesn't start right away, then just restart Steam. The final step is just one out of convenience, kind of like changing your underwear. So in your renamed Isle Legacy folder, uh, double click to go inside it, <clears throat> find the Isle application, right click on it, and then send to desktop, which creates a shortcut for the game. And when you want to play of Rima, just launch it from Steam. And then when you want the Legacy version, just use the desktop, which, that wasn't it is say this right here so now i can just double click this and i can go into the legacy version so there you have it now i'm going to work on another video about how you can change your keybinds and mouse settings for Evrima, since you can't do it in game so i hope this helps and take care folks